Okay, so this year Apple has made some major changes on how users will be able to install iOS betas. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys everything you need to know to continue installing betas on your iPhone right now and in the near future with the next major releases like iOS 17. So let's just dive right into this video. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss is another episode now the first thing i would like to address is those of you who are currently installing betas on your iphone rather is public betas or developer betas with the latest changes in ios 16.4 or newer what you have to do is you want to go into general you want to go into software updates and then you want to go ahead and select beta updates right here you have the option to go with a developer or public betas now developers will get both options public beta testers will only get one option which is of course public beta and of course you can turn this off entirely if you don't want any more betas on your iPhone so make sure that if you're running iOS 16.4 you select which one you want to run on your device again developers will get the two options public beta testers will only get of course the public beta option now a lot of you guys continue to ask will I need a profile in order to move forward with additional betas from here on out and the answer to that for those who are currently installing iOS betas is no you can actually go into settings you can go into general here and then go into device management and you can actually remove the beta profile from your iPhone and you will continue to get betas so as long as you're running iOS 16.4 however if you're running iOS 16.3 or lower you continue to install that profile as you previously did now next I want to talk about those of you who are currently not running any kind of beta on your devices but would like to test major software update releases like iOS 17 so if you want to test those software this year later this year and you're running iOS 16.4 or later by the time Apple releases this software you have two options you have public beta and you also have developer beta now there's some major changes between the both in terms of release dates now public beta is entirely free but you usually get the beta about a month later after developers so iOS 17 developer beta 1 for example could be released let's say the second week of June so let's say uh, iOS 17 and developer beta 1 releases on June uh, 6 let's just say that for example well public beta testers will not get it on June 6 you'll get it maybe Maybe in July the 3rd or so on so so basically 30 days later but it is free and anyone can join after Apple makes it available to public beta testers which is this website right here is the first one I'll link in the description down below now if you want to run developer betas and you will get it on day one so let's say Apple releases iOS 17 developer beta 1 on June 6 you'll get it on June 6 however the developer program is require you to pay uh, $99 for the subscription Description. right there it is so right there you can start enrollment you'll have this link in the description box below as well and you can go ahead and start your enrollment it's going to ask you for your Apple ID a form of payment and things like that and you'll be able to register your device to install betas and if you're running iOS 16.4 all you have to do is once you register go to general software update and select developer beta in your options here in order for you to test the latest software update and that is basically everything you need to know so if you're currently running a beta and you're running iOS 16.4 or newer just go into settings and general and software update and select the beta that you want to continue running if you're not registered I recommend you do it right now you register with Apple's public or developer program again both links will be in the description and then once you register go into settings and general software update and select the beta that you want to run in the near future including the next major updates like iOS 17 and that's basically it Apple getting rid of developer profiles to install betas on your iPhone unless you're running iOS 16.3 or earlier okay so 16.3 or earlier still require the beta profile 16.4 or later just simply select the beta that you want under software updates and beta updates and there you guys have it let me know if you have any additional questions in regards to how you'll be able to install betas in the near future and some of the major updates coming later this year like iOS 17 I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one peace